I'm Shan Caravan, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did my makeup for my Bowsette cosplay. I'm starting off with a full face of foundation, creating a base and evening out my skin tone. I don't know why the lighting was looking so weird and washed out, so I ended up stopping and fixing that real quick. And we're back with better lighting and concealer. Concealer is my best friend. It helps me to hide my sleep deprivation and just brightens up the face. Not only am I the mother of a six month old, but I also deal with some insomnia from time to time. What are some things you guys like to do to help you sleep? The struggle is real. <laughs> Back to the concealer though. I just like to blend this in with my fingers and then do a little happy dance. I'm so sorry about this next part, but I don't know the name of this eyeshadow. <laughs> Uh, I know that it's a pressed powder um, by Colourpop, but I got it so long ago and it doesn't have a title on it. All I know is that it's red. I'm applying it all over my eyelid and my crease and just trying to blend it out at the top with my Real Techniques brush. It wasn't as vibrant as I was wanting it to be, so I happily applied some eyeshadow primer to my eyelids. And I just kind of left the crease alone since it was already blended out. And then I went back in with that red eyeshadow so my lids would be a bit more pigmented. It didn't really come out how I wanted it to look, but good enough. Next, I take an ink brush and just kind of apply that eyeshadow right under my eyes. And then it's time to get smoky with some black eyeshadow. I apply this in a C shape in the outer quarter of my eye, starting from the top of my crease all the way down to my eyelid. And then I just kind of drag it across to the inside of my eye. I go over that a couple of times to get it really nice and dark. And then with another angled brush, I outline the red eyeshadow with the black eyeshadow. And this is where I started to second guess myself. I just ended up moving on to the eyeliner. I did a very thin line that went out as far as my eyeshadow. That's when I finally decided to just fill in the bottom eyeshadow with all black because I really wanted my eyes to look smaller and smoky, but they just looked bigger and more childlike, which wasn't the look. Then I came back to the eyeliner and extended it up to about where my bridge starts to give it like a cat eye, or in this case, dragon eye kind of effect. Now on to my favorite part, the jewels. I just take adhesive gemstones and add a little eyelash glue and pop them onto my brows for a glitter brow effect. This part can be a little time consuming, but the effect is so worth it. Now I'm just going to speed this part up and show you the finished brows. And here they are. So beautiful, lovely, and sparkly. Sorry, but I will always quote Bluey. And the OG Spongebob. But what about that contour though? I really wanted harsh lines on my face to give off more of that dragon bone structure kind of look, so I went really hard with the contour. Next I move on to my second favorite part, which is highlighter. I want to shine so brightly, and I love when you see that glistening when you move your head around. Then I deepen that contour even more by adding blush right in between the contour and the highlight. Then because I just can't help myself, I add a little blush onto my nose. Then, to add even more drama, I add little black gems under my eyes. I feel like a look isn't really complete until the lashes are on. See how it just kind of makes everything fall into place? Then last, but definitely not least, I add a pretty red suede lipstick. Next, I'm going to show you a little trick to keep lipstick off of your teeth. You just stick your finger into your mouth and kind of pull down on the edges to get off any excess lipstick. And shisha! you have a Bowset look. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosplay tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.